Hello and welcome. In today's episode, I'm going to be trying to make the outpost safe and maybe put in some chairs and whatnot in it. Okay, so first off, I'm going to be putting in a wall across here. I think it might change my mind as I go, but yeah. Okay, so now I've got the wall up and I've decided to actually have two rooms either side. This one's going to be pretty noisy for the whoever's sleeping. It'll be two bedrooms. Um, yeah, it's got, a <laughs> it's got a train station going straight through it. And this one. I had to cut the window, but yeah, it's just to separate that rail line. So these guys, when I move them in again, do not jump to their deaths, as they have been doing. Next step, we're going to have to take out this line at least and put a wall in. I'll see how it goes. I'll see you on the other side. Okie dokie. This is what I've come up with. It's not that pretty just yet, but yeah. You separate the train lines, so when you bring villagers here, they can't open these, so they'll get stuck here. We'll knock them out. They can go down these stairs and come into this section. If I want to go in this section, I'll see the storage unit. Then open that once again. Villagers can't open those. Extend of this bit so it goes all to the wall. We're gonna put some more beds in, put some carpets in. And yep, we can go down here. And there. Right. Let's start decorating. Then while I wait for the beetroot to grow so I can make some more dyed wool for the floor, I'm going to be putting up some paintings or item frames and putting some items in them on this yonder wall. Oh, isn't that magnificent? Absolutely spectacular. Yeah, I'm just going to cover that in items. Yeah, yeah! Okay, as I am waiting on more beetroots to make more dye, I will now be making a bar area. Okay guys, so it's taken me absolutely ages to settle on this design. Might change it a little bit in the future, but if you come over to the bar area now, you can see the sea pickles, they're empty, so they look like little cups, and we have flower pots as the pint-sized drinks. Lovely, I'll be putting a snow golem in there as the bartender, at some point. Other than that, I think some of the beetroot's ready, so I'm going to get back on the carpet. Right, for the next part of the build, I'm going to need some... Oh, I forgot what it's called again. Will, what's it called? Quartz. Quartz from the nether. Thanks, Will. Always there for me. You're Will. welcome. Oh, lovely. Okay. Obviously, I've brought my Fortune 3 pick that we get absolutely mountains of it unless I die from burning myself in this fire. <laughs> um, my health is going down very quickly. I'm surprised I haven't been like attacked by a thingy magic yet. The big crying baby ghost type things. Ghasts. Ghasts, yeah. Thank you. Do you answer all the world's questions? No. I've also realised that I will be needing um this stuff. Well, what do you call the the stuff that um, you, when you walk on it makes you walk slower? Soul sand. And he's right again. Yep, there it is. There's nothing he doesn't know. This man, nothing. That's that's not true. No. Okay. Right. We've got the quartz. I should you think of how to do this. seems to be as full as I can get it. And then let's see. Yep, I'm having the time of my life. Oakley Dokley, so I've made two hot tubs in the end. We've got the bar area set up. We need to put more carpet down. And good news, the beetroot finally came through. So, I'm hoping this is just enough to finish this floor because I am sick of carpeting. Ooh, 
yeah, I think in this section that I'm working on right now with the carpet, I'm going to be putting some chairs in and some tables. Might even put some hedges and see if it looks nice. Who knows? This builds my oyster. Pie Palace is in full effect. type things around the hot tubs but for now I think this area is done. If we go upstairs you can see I put some garish paintings up which a little out of place but let's see what we're going to do with this section. Right, this is where you pick your costume for the night. Oh yes it plays on them. This is going to be great. Right. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Now there's only one person who can help us put costumes on these. Okay, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. It's Jeb the party sheep. He's be telling us how to make this the party palace. Let's go to the party palace, Jeb. <laughs> opinion on this, Mr. Party Sheep. Jeb. I know it's amazing in here, but you need to chill out. Right, what are we doing on this? What are you thinking? You saying gold legs, enchanted chest, enchanted boots. Here, you no, no helmet. Oh, that one. Good decision, mate. This is why you're the party sheep. Ah, oh, fabulous outfit. Fabulous outfit. Oh, party sheep, you have completely outdone yourself. This is fab. Everyone's going to love it. Everyone's going to love it. Let's get some people in here, all right? Let's get some people in here. Right, villagers, we are approaching our destination. Oh, you can see the blacksmith shaking. He's so excited. Oh. Please do not come back at me. I can't have a repeat of the Great Migration. I just can't do it. We'll make sure let's stop it here just in case. Let's yes. I know. I know what's going on here. He says Oh no! Okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, it's not a great experience for the party palace. <laughs> oh, guys, guys, come on. Wait your turn. Oh, no. Okay. Do 
I have an axe, of course I do. Welcome, welcome to the party palace, guys. Alright, let's let you out of these. Must be all be very excited to get party in. Go downstairs. Go. Hey, mate. Oh, -ho. you and your... Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can go in there if you want. Not keen. Oh. Right, you. Straight to the bar, man, are you? No, you just like to look at the back of stairs. Interesting. Oh, you admiring the fine art, I see. No, you can't go in. What is your deal? You're at the party palace, mate. No one else is having a blast. Oh, here we go. Hey, come on. Well, obviously, this was a great success. Smash that like and destroy that subscribe. Thanks for watching.